Welcome back pilots, my name's Nick. In this video, we're going to assemble the E-Flight Habu SS 50mm EDF jet plane. This is a very simple plane to put together. It shouldn't take us long at all. The first step would be to install the horizontal stab onto the fuselage using a Phillips head screwdriver and the provided screws, like this. We're gonna grasp our fuselage. You'll notice that it's got the insert for our horizontal stab. Simply slide the horizontal stab into the rear of the plane until it clicks in. With our horizontal stab slid into the rear of the fuselage, utilize two of the provided screws to hold down the stabilizer. Now that the stab is secure, let's connect the elevator linkages. Now simply attach the left and right clevises to the outer hole on both the left and right elevator control horns. Push back the rubber retainer band, open up the clevis, and install in the outermost hole of the control horn. Slide the rubber retainer band back up to secure the clevis around the control horn. We're gonna do the same to this side. So first we're going to slide back the rubber clevis band, install on the outermost hole of the control horn, press together, and finally secure with that rubber clevis band. With our horizontal stab and our elevators properly connected, we can install the main wing onto the fuselage. A couple things to note while we've got the wing off. The EDF fan unit is very easy to service. You'll also find your Spectrum Smart ESC and all of your servo linkages. In what might be the easiest wing to install, simply turn the wing over, match it up with the screw holes, and push down. This wing features a quick connect for our aileron servos. No fumbling around wires, just press the wing on and everything's connected. We are going to use five screws, two in the front, two in the rear, and one in the very back to secure the wing onto the fuselage. Let's do that now. And last screw. When tightening, be sure not to over tight into the foam. You'll just want these snug. All right, we've got our five screws installed holding the wing on. And you'll see a much more completed aircraft. Now that we've got both our horizontal stab and our main wing installed, let's move on to the main gear and nose gear. The nose gear will have a servo horn attached to it for the steering ability. The rear landing gear are stationary and clip in to the bottom of the wing. Let's do that now. We're going to flip the plane over again. First, let's install the rear landing gear. Simply push the landing gear into the wing and turn until it clips into the secure mounts. There we go. And onto this side, we're going to install into the wing and turn until it locks into place. One and two. To install the front steerable nose wheel, first remove the Phillips head screw holding down the steering horn. With the screw removed, the steering horn will come right off. Slide the steer wheel into the hole at the bottom of the fuselage and flip the plane over. You'll have to hold a little pressure on the nose wheel so it doesn't fall out. To secure the nose wheel, first remove the canopy, attach our 
steering linkage to our steering horn on the second hole. Now that we've got our linkage through the control horn, slip the control horn back on top of the steer wheel. Secure with that Phillips head screw. And we have completed the nose wheel install. Last but not least, let's get that EDF tail cone installed on the end of the plane. We're going to reinstall our canopy. In the bag, you will find the tail cone itself and some adhesive tape to hold the tail cone on. The tail cone simply slips over the end of the EDF unit. To secure the tail cone onto the plane itself, utilize the four pieces of sticky adhesive tape between the cone and the fuse. Got one. Because there are four pieces of included sticky adhesion tape, I'm gonna put two on the top and two more on the bottom. And the last one. This might be the easiest plane I've ever put together. Now that we have a fully assembled aircraft, all we've got to do is get it set up in our transmitter and out ready for flight. Be sure and click the video link in the description below. I'll walk you through step by step. Thank you for following along. And one last side note. After assembly, you'll find two screws left over. These are spares, nothing to worry about. So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for following along. And until next time, goodbye.